9. Only a couple of weeks ago, Sam Baird became involved in a, a world record. He was on the receiving end of 547 points without reply from Stuart Bingham when they met in the last 64 of the China Open in Beijing. That's the most unanswered points ever put together by any player in a world ranking event match. 16. A little over a fortnight later though, here he is on the cusp of the Crucible. Well, as soon as he hit the blue, he was walking, he was convinced it was in. It actually just flopped in off that near jaw as we're looking at the table. But at that pace, I think his confidence was well merited. The mouth is dry. The heart is pounding. Again, he's had a kick. That's the fourth kick he's had in the last three and a half frames. The fourth destructive kick in terms of either missing the pot or not being able to get the position he wanted. Okay, he's still on the black, but he wanted to have a better angle than this. Looks as though he's got no angle at all. Cutting and running. Some would say, why not take the seven points and play safe off the bunch? It's a point, but I think Baird thought he might get the cue ball in behind the line of the green and make Highfield's life very tough. As it is, it's not tough. Highfield's return to bulk 
was as routine as you like. Well, he could have so easily have left the red he went for. He has left a red to the middle. If Highfield takes it on, this is the definition of a pressure ball. 31 down, 9-9, nine, nine, final qualifying round of the World Championship. Players of broken knuckles, smashing their hand, their fist into the wooden cushion rail in moments of abject exasperation. You don't want to do that, Liam. But his frustration is understandable. Nicely done. Well judged. Can Sam Baird prove me wrong? Can he quell the nerves and book his place in the crucible? And if he does, I think passing this test will stand him in very good stead. Again, though, and he's not making excuses. He suffered another kick. Make that five in the last three frames. And of course, that chips away at the bedrock of your confidence. If you're thinking about whether you're going to have a kick or not, it's a distraction that you can ill afford.
So we're getting down to the crux of the matter. <coughs> and poor old Liam Highfield must be fearing the worst. 14. I think he's been the better player in the second session. Breaks of 65, 139, 46, 73, and 104. But it could all be to no avail. Fifteen. Short on the blue though, Baird. Missable, even though the red's in close proximity to the pocket. And because of that, Baird has to be applauded. He's almost there. In 2013, he battled through the qualifiers, made the crucible, lost out 10-2 in the first round. To Stuart Bingham. If he gets back to the crucible. Come on, Sammy boy! He'll go there <coughs> as a much better, a much wiser, a much more experienced player. Crucible, here we come! He leads by 60. So the black in one more red will do the trick. Seven. Three snookers needed by Highfield. If the black goes in, it's over. To be fair, anyone could have cleaned up. Sam Bird will be feeling like a million dollars. <laughs> yes, Mr. Smith. Will feel as though he's lost a million dollars. Get in me, old mucker. It's quite gone. you an effort from both. A very High quality, entertaining match. But Sam Baird was never headed, and he's not going to be. 51. What a good decider he's played. 52. A break of 31. Followed by this. And Highfield can't wait to make his exit. Now, does he have the concentration to finish with a century? Six to six. If he does, it would be his second of the match. Six to seven. And it would have been. He's fourth of the qualifying competition. Not bothered about that. Can't reach three figures now. Seven. But it matters very little. Seventy-two. I think.
think. So they had suffered another kick there, but it's far too late now to affect the outcome. It's three quarters of a century, a 75. And Sam Baird comes through. What an examination. What a match. Yeah! thought, as I said, for Liam Highfield. He contributed greatly to a superb contest, both in terms of drama and quality. But in the end, there's only one winner, and his name is Sam Baird. He wins by 10 frames to nine, and his name is now in the hat for the first round draw for the Betfred World Championship to take place at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. He will be exuberant. Okay, then.